Hi, I'm Billy from Sweet Starling and today I'm going to show you how to make graduation cupcakes. Now to make the graduation cups, the first thing I've done is rolled out black flour paste. I've used shortening to roll this out because I want to keep the black clean. You can use corn flour or icing sugar if you prefer. You can just brush that off with a bit of uh, vodka or any clear spirit really. Um, but like I said, I'm using shortening to keep the black nice and clean. So I've got nice thin flour paste and I'm using a square cutter to cut each of my the top sort of my graduation caps out. The square I'm using is about two centimetres in size. And with each square I'm just leaving it on a piece of foam so that it dries nice and flat. Now for the bottom part of the graduation cap I'm using black fondant, again rolling it out on Trex and keeping it quite thick this time. I don't want it to be thin otherwise it's just going to be very flat short graduation cap so I want it to look like there's something there underneath the hat, underneath the top of the hat and it's not going to get lost in the buttercream. So fairly thick fondant and I'm using a circle cutter just to cut out lots of circles and again leaving those to dry on a piece of foam. My circle cutter is around about a centimetre and a half in diameter. When you've got all your circles and your squares cut out, you can use a little bit of water or sugar glue, paint on top of the cylinder and then stick the square on top. That should be enough to, to attach it. If everything has completely dried by the time you're sticking it and water or sugar glue isn't working, then use a little bit of royal icing. Just make sure if it's white, it's not splurging out the sides and showing. Now for the tassels, I've used a sugar gun. This has got lots of different endings on it, so it's kind of like when you had Play-Doh as a child and you push it through the things that would make different shapes come out. It's like that. It's got lots of different ends and there's a very fine circle one that comes up with lots of different strands at the same time. That's the one I'm using to make these tassels. Now I've got a goldy coloured flower paste here. You can use flower paste, gum paste, modelling paste, fondant, whatever you prefer. I have gone for flower paste, which is one of the tougher pastes, and because of that, I've had to mix a lot of shortening in it to soften it up so it'll actually go through the sugar gum without breaking my hand at the same time. You have to keep squeezing the sugar gum in order to get the, the paste through. The softer the paste, the easier it is to get through. Now I wish I had done half and half of sugar paste and the flour paste with this because it was it took ages to get it through just because I had to keep squeezing so hard to get it to budge anywhere and I like I say I had to use a lot of shortening so next time around I'll do half sugar paste half flour paste mix it together to make a more of a modeling paste consistency and then add some shortening to that and push that through that's my lesson learned from this one but either way what jug paste you use you need to roll a sausage of it push it into the sugar gun and then squeeze it until the strands come out and then you're just going to cut lengths of it Attach it to the top of your hat using a little bit of water and if it's too long you can just trim it and it ends away when it's on the hat. Once all that is done you can just leave those to dry, I left mine overnight but to be honest they'll be ready pretty much immediately. As long as you're not distorting them when you pick them up you should be able to use them. Then I baked a lot of cupcakes, 300 cupcakes in total. Then I need to put buttercream swirls. So for that I've used my buttercream which I will link to the recipe below. And I've used a large star nozzle in a disposable piping bag. Now to do these swirls you start from the outside and work your way inwards. So squeeze with quite a decent pressure and then just keep squeezing round and round till you get to the middle. And as long as it's outside to inside you will get that, that nice sort of ice cream swirl effect. When you've done that you can add a graduation cap onto the top of each cupcake And you're done. So that's how to make graduation cupcakes. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. There'll be new videos every Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye.